Let me go live on the God's page. Cause she got def she definitely got shows as all the way tapped into her. So they must get this connection. Hopefully. You know what I mean? They're available. Absolutely. That's who I am. That's who we are. That's who we are, not me. That's who we are. And shout out to everybody in DR and PR. Facts. Cause I don't wanna I don't wanna make it seem like, you know, I'm not proud of my cultural roots, but I just know it's deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? The roots go deeper, deeper than deep. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, voodoo, right? I just had to remake this video because I was unable to save it and I just I just must because I want to share this with, you know, I just must. So here we go. I know you probably heard the term voodoo. Yes, you've heard voodoo, voodoo. But I'm here to tell you that voodoo is doo-doo. Don't be fooled. Don't let people trick you with words. Voodoo is doo-doo. ¿Tú me entiendes lo que te estoy diciendo? Voodoo is true African knowledge applied to the elements. True African uh, spirituality. It is true uh, schools of thought. Ar African spiritual systems that are aboriginal to our people. Voodoo is doo-doo. You heard me? You heard me? That's right. Voodoo is doo doo. That's what I said. Share this video, please. Because somebody needs to hear this. Even if it's just me. Share it to me. Send me this video. At the end of the day, you are a magician. You are powerful beyond your imagination. You are stronger than you know. You are greater than you can ever fathom and think that you are. You are one of the greatest. You are the greatest creation. You are designed cosmically perfect. There's nothing wrong with you. You are perfect. Somebody called me, right? And they're like, yo, I'm going to send you something, you know, just to cleanse you energetically, to protect you, because I know you've been dealing with a lot of souls and you've had, you've had interactions with a lot of dark forces and shadow beings and demonic entities in your life trying to grow spiritually you've came across these kind of beings so with that being said i want to tell you that i'm gonna send you something and it's just for you to wear you can put it on your key you can keep it in your car in your pocket whatever i just want you to wear this so you can be protected at all times right but but wait 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 here's the rub I'm thinking like, why are you so concerned about me being protected when I already told you that I'm G-O-D in human form and I understand that uh, divine masculine and divine feminine combined together form God and you try... No, it wasn't a crystal. It was actually some, some type of copper apparatus, but nevertheless, I was like, yo, when I started thinking about it, I was like, why do you want to protect me? Is that truly like a hex that you're sending me? Or what is that? Because I'm confo used. I'm confo with the used. Truthfully, I'm just like, yo, why you want to do so much good? These people. These people. So I was just like, oh, okay. When is the right time to create a baby in your opinion? What? When the universe allows that soul to portal through. That was a really good question. Do you have any? So basically, when you speak words into this reality, they permeate. They take on a life of its own. Everything is energy. So anything you speak, you will have to face, will come back to you, you will see. So when someone tells you that they put in a hex on you or that someone put a hex on you, this is how that works. They throw a hex out into their universe and it comes back and lands on them. So when they try to do voodoo, they're really doing doo-doo because it's landing on them. It's not coming back to you. First of all, if you're God's child, if your name is in the book of life, if you're chosen, if you're the elite of the uh, beings on this earth that have divine knowledge of self and understand true spirituality, not the chakras and my beads and no 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 i'm talking about tapping into source energy and feeling your connection and and being able to uh, uh communicate with spirits and energies and entities and being able to move matter in this reality being able to create and sustain different kinds 
of life forms on this planet. That's what makes you. That's what. That's who and what you are. When someone tries to put a hex on you, that shit is landing back on them. Voodoo is true. Voodoo is real. Voodoo is what our ancestors practice. True African spirituality. See, see the Africans. We must look back to Mama Africa. We must always understand that the Africans, no matter what you may say or think about them, right? Because everyone has an opinion. Here's the thing. Africans revered the mother goddess. Africans revered the mother earth. Africans revered Gaia. They understood that without her there is nothing. And that she is to be revered and respected and honored at all times. See? When you, when you hear about the Africans tapping into something, get with that. You heard me? Get with that. Because you know, those, those ancestors of ours, their connection was so deep-rooted because they were in tune with the proper elements. They were, they were functioning in harmony with the natural world, with the forces that govern this plane, the universe. They were in communication with it. They understood it. They respected it. They revered it. You know what's funny? Many of them were, weren't even vegans. Like we, we think being vegan is big shit. Ha! That's baby talk. You know why? Being vegan is popping, yeah. You know, you get a nice little beach body, you feel good. You cute, you eat nice, cool. Being vegan is more about understanding that everything you do has a fucking energetic karma tied to it, attached to it. So why would you eat dead flesh? Do you want to stink to the ancestors? That's why we don't eat meat. Our ancestors ate meat, but guess what? The meat they ate wasn't this mass-produced shit from a laboratory juiced up with some bullshit. That's not what they ate. They ate homegrown food. And on top of the shit they ate, no matter if it was poison, their mind wasn't poison. Their mind allowed it to be processed in a, in a, in a way that can bless them truly. Huh? That's what their mind did. Their mind understood that that is a life form that I am taking life from to sustain my life and that is a sacred exchange of true life. That is something to be honored. That is something divine. That it was designed cosmically. No man made that. And that is what the ancestors understood. And that is what the ancestors stood for. And that is how the ancestors defeated the French uh, in Haiti on the island of Hispaniola when they came and to conquer, to steal, kill, to destroy them for their resources, for they used the elements and were able to sustain life. So we are magicians. We are the priests and the priestesses that we seek. We are them. You are it and it is you. If you haven't heard these words today, I love you. Peace.